Welcome to Let's Calculate Something. Today we're going to solve a quadratic equation and we're going to first test to see if we're going to be in the real or the complex uh, domain. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to first check to see that we're in the, um, what domain we're in. So the way we do that is when we look at the, the solution for quadratic, it's minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And if, uh, if you want to see how this is derived, you can check out this video here. Uh, I derived the quadratic equation. And if you were subscribed to our channel, you would know that. If you click the notification bell, you would know that. So please do that. And then also, if you could leave some comments, it'd be great. And we'll take those comments in. We'd love the feedback. And if you suggest other problems you'd like us to solve, we can do that. And if we use one of your problems in a video, we'll give you credit for it. But let's get into this problem. So what we can do is we can examine what this part is, and we can then know whether it's going to be real or complex. If this, if what's inside here is less than, z than a zero or negative, then this will be in the complex realm. But if it's greater than zero, it'll be positive, and then we can take the square root of a positive number and we get a real number, and we're we're home free in the real world. Okay. So b squared here, so first we're going we're to simplify. You're going to divide through by 3 and make this the same equation, basically, but much easier to handle. 3x squared plus 2x minus 1. And in this equation, this will be a, this will be b, and this will be c. Okay. So let's plug in and figure out what, where we are. Are we in the real world or the imaginary world? Okay, so b squared is going to be 4, minus 4 times a, which is 3, times c, which is minus 1. So this is a positive. So this is all going to equate to 16. So since 16 is real, that is greater than 0, then we know we're in the real world. Okay, good. So now let's solve the equation. We already know this piece. So we will substitute. We will say x equals minus b, which is minus 2, plus or minus the square root of 16, all over 6, which is 2 times 3. So now we can simplify that sum. This will be plus or minus 4. This will be minus 2. And this will be 6. So if this is plus, we have 2 over 6. So we have x equals 1 third because this will factor, this will be 2 over 6, that's 1 third. And then x, if this is minus 4, we have minus 6 over 6, and that's minus 1. And that's our answer. So if we want to really quickly check, let's do that. Let's plug x. So first you can see minus 1 here. This will be positive, that'll be 3. And that'll be uh, minus 2, minus 1, that's 0. So that's an easy one to see. The, my, the 1 third might be a little harder. Let's plug that in. We have 3 times 1 third squared plus 2 times 1 third minus 1. Okay? So let's figure out what that is. That's 3 over 9 plus 2 thirds minus 1. This is 1 third. 1 third plus 2 thirds minus 1. This equals 1. 1 minus 1 equals 0. Check. So we know both of these are the right answer. We know that they're both real, and that's our problem. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.